Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a message from your ancestors and your angels to see what the energy is like. Now, this may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, okay? All right, spirit. Now, anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those. And thank you to those who donate to the channel. It's very much appreciated. So straight away, I'm seeing here, take control of your thoughts here, Virgos. It says your thoughts are creating your reality. It says have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. So even if it seems impossible, right? Spirit says it doesn't matter. You keep your focus. You have that tunnel vision here. Hold your vision, Virgos. I've been hearing that song all day since this morning. You're almost there. Um, you know, some of you may want to open your own restaurant or something like that. Maybe you've been saving for a while. Maybe someone here is looking for a location. Just whatever it is here, right? Spirit says, hold your vision. It's almost like this, this vision of someone here, you know, running a race and you've been running this race for a long time. And now you're at the point where you can actually see the finish line. You want to give up. So what do we have for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. I don't even know why I'm getting angry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Give me two cards for the sign of Virgo. What is the message here from their ancestors and their angels? Show me. Thank you, Archangel Michael. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I love when they clarify that they're very, very close by. Take control of your thoughts. We've already read it. I won't read it again. <clears throat> Take control of your thoughts here. Mindset is everything. You see yourself as failing and not succeeding. And that's most likely going to be your reality. But don't blame it on the universe after you kind of fell. When that's how your mind has been all this time. And this is what you've been manifesting. Oh, I'm going to fail. Oh, I'm going to fail. Oh, I'm go and then you fell. And then you're like, damn, I failed. <laughs> well, what do you expect? card for going forward thank you spirit show me all right archangel michael it's the energy here for the collective thank you the bottom of the deck look at that take control of your thoughts you have regain your focus stand in your truth remove all the fog regain clarity it says trivial. So some of you are letting, you know, I don't, I can sit here and say some of you are letting small things get in your way, but you know, what is a small thing? I don't know how it goes. They're, they're, I've heard it before. Um, I, I don't know what the first bit is. I, so, it's almost like I want to say, what is a small problem to a giant? But I don't think that's exactly how it goes. But whatever, right? You get the idea. It's that energy of making a molehill into a mountain. Learn to overcome these little obstacles. And I'm hearing, especially if they are being projected by other people. But this says take control of your thoughts. It says trivial life matters are distracting you from your goals. It says Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. So let's see what came out going forward. We have, oh, it's a number 12, which boils down to a three, which talks about your ships coming in. This also talks about you being able to see the bigger picture here, right? You have in that bird's eye view. It says embrace your life purpose. It says I am guiding you towards your divine life purpose. 
Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. So who here is staying in a situation, in a job, in a home, with a car, whatever? Who, who here is holding on to something that is no longer serving them? That something that no longer brings purpose to your life? Something or someone that no longer fills you with joy, happiness, stability, laughter, There's a message here for my Virgos, from their ancestors and their angels. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Give me two cards. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. That came straight out. And we have peaceful resolution. Yes. It's almost like I want to say it's on the horizon. Now, for some of you, it could be even as far as a year from now. Going forward, what do we have? Be assertive. Embrace your life purpose. This is the time for someone here to take some kind of action. This is the time for someone to step into the energy of being motivated. We have let go at the bottom of the deck. What do you need to let go of? Maybe some of you have trust issues. Maybe, you know, you need to let go of things from the past, trying to recover from these things here. Let's get some messages for Virgo. Yeah, I'm seeing the emperor here. It's about leadership. It says organization and logic. It says structure and discipline, leadership. With the two of fire, it's time for someone to make a choice here, you know. Someone's ancestors and angels is kind of sitting back here having a cup of tea, you know, waiting for you to decide. <laughs> the bird found that funny. It's cute. <laughs> Someone here is stuck in the energy of the past. Six of Cups. Memories from your history or childhood. It says issues regarding children. It says romancing the past. Why if it's not serving you? Why if you can't change it? All right. Peaceful resolution. Why is it here? You have the king of earth coming out here, which is your energy, Virgo. So I could be talking to my masculines. It doesn't have to be. Feminines, you could be in masculine energy. Especially if you're kind of in some kind of leadership role. And I'm also hearing for some of my people, you know, especially if you are single parents, male or female. It says a successful time. It says confidently accept opportunities you're offered. It says the mightiest touch. Take control of your thoughts. Turn these negative thoughts around and turn them into positive. Some of you are in strong manifestation energy. Some of you, like it says, you have the mightiest touch. So again, even you, you know... Being in that strong energy is still the same thing as if you have negative thoughts, then you, you're most likely going to manifest those. Show me more. It's time for someone here to get professional. Yeah, look at that. The Four of Swords. What is that coming with it? The Ten of Air. Do you know what? Heal from the past. Some of you have to realize that the worst is now behind you. Some of you are too focused on whatever these betrayals were. Whatever, whoever these people were that were stabbing you in the back. Whoever it is that left you for dead. Not literally. But you have the four of air. It says time to rest or take a vacation. It says allow more time before making a decision. It says meditation may provide answers. 
And then you have this Ten of Air. And it says the end of a difficult situation. Okay. But we have that peaceful resolution there. Don't let whatever this is hinder you from moving forward. Don't let whatever this was, you know, kind of stop you from, um, I want to say, heading towards happiness. Heading towards your wish fulfillments and your dreams. Don't let whatever this is, you know, let you forget what your dreams are or your goals are or what your aim is. Don't let it stop you. Don't let them people win. It says embrace the change and expect things to get better now. It says recovering from an addiction. Okay, so for some of you, this may not even have anything to do with someone else. This may be you recovering from some personal choices that you made. Some things that you chose to indulge in. And I'm hearing for some of you, you got the warning signs that whatever this was, it wasn't good for you. But you continued anyway. And sometimes, you know, depending on your purpose and where it is that you're going in life and why it is that you are here, you know, spirit's going to step in and say, okay, hey, listen, enough is enough. And it's almost like spirit coming down and telling a child off, right? But sometimes telling that child off can come in the form of a tower moment. Okay, you didn't listen. All right, we've got to bring in the big boys. Because you're going to need to sit down for five seconds here, four of swords, so that you can reflect, so that you can heal. But most importantly, so that you can move on. All right, what was that that wanted to come? The world, yes. Time for a new chapter, a new cycle, a new beginning, a new you for some of you. It says a job well done. It says joy, contentment and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. Some of you, you're going to thank your ancestors and angels for whatever this is. Now, whether you can see the point at the time, hopefully you'll see the point later. So what is this? Embrace your life purpose. Be assertive. You have ego. It says a false sense of entrapment. It says being overly focused on material things. It says negative or fear-based thoughts. So for some of you, you could have lost something here. You know, you could have lost something that was materialistic, right? Um, and again, you know, all for it to teach you a lesson. You know, I, I did a video and I, and I made a mistake and I said, oh, money is the root of all evil. And someone corrected me. And I'm glad that they did. Because money is not the root of all evil, but it is the love of money. So again, you know, if, if someone here is going to reap some kind of karma, usually the universe is going to come in and maybe remove something, take something, destroy something that you really worship. And it's usually something material. So someone here could have had some kind of ego death. The seagulls that, you know, they're crowing. I mean, they're making me feel like surrender kind of energy. When I think of seagulls. What is the ego? Oops, and then we have the queen of earth. Okay, so we got the king and the queen out here. So male and female, you're all included. Hello. But again, you know, take what resonates for you. You'll know if it resonates or not. It says, make time for those around you. It says, take a sensible approach. It says, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So, you know, for some of you, this could be about somebody else that, you know, maybe you want to approach or maybe you have something to say. Maybe you allowed ego to get in the way of a situation here. This also gives me the energy of maybe two people that are meant to be together. Take it how it resonates. Let's get one more over here for the ego and the queen of earth. What is this message from my ancestors and my angels for the sign of Virgo? Or any other sign that may be watching. So I'm seeing two that wants to come. Oh, okay. We have the two of air. It says being unable or unwilling to make a decision. It says a stalemate pretending there is no problem. So again, there's that ego and pride energy. 
because it, you know it's almost like the energy of okay what example give me real quick thank you spirit it's almost like this energy of let's say um let's say you go to someone's house right <clears throat> and no 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 forget going to someone's house let's say you out with a friend and you know you don't have any money in your pocket but your friend does and your friend says you know come i'm, I'm just going to use mcdonald's as an example okay let's go to mcdonald's and you're like all right cool whatever all the time you're kind of traveling to the McDonald's with your friend. You're like, oh, shit, you know, I don't have any money in my pocket. But I don't want to ask my friend for anything because I don't want them to know that I don't have any money in my pocket. So it's like spirit putting you in this position where they kind of say to you, OK, well, so what are you going to do? You know, spirit comes and whispers in your ear. They say, so what are you going to do? You're going to sit and watch your friend eat? Because of your pride and your ego, that's your friend. Let your friend buy you a burger. But you're like, no, nah, if I let my friend, you're talking to yourself now. You're like, no, nah, if I let my friend buy me a burger, then they're going to know that I don't have no money. So spirit says, okay, then we'll starve. And it's like, all right, well, I'm going to starve just to cut my nose off to spite my face. And then your friend, you know, your friend says, hey, you, you want anything? And you're like, no, 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 if I wanted something, I'd buy it myself. Damn well known you ain't got no money in your pocket. And your friend says, all right then. So your friend goes and buys this big meal and you kind of, you know, at the corner of your eye, you're watching your friend eat the meal. And then your friend goes, you sure you don't want a burger? And you're like, no, I'm not hungry. I, you know, if I wanted a burger, I'd buy it myself. And your friend says, okay. And then your belly starts making all these noises real loud as well. And you're like, oh, shoot. Now your friend's going to know that you're hungry. It's that kind of energy, right? I don't know where I'm going with this. But it's that kind of energy, like spirit exposing you anyway. But you pretending that I ain't hungry. Someone here pretending, I don't want to speak to that person. I don't want to go towards that person. I don't want to go towards that house or that job or that car, whatever it is, right? So it says that isn't going to get you anywhere. I'm actually hearing it will get somebody somewhere. It will get somebody to a point where they have missed an opportunity. You have the sun card out here. And it says happy outcome. It says brilliant new ideas that lead to success. It says have confidence in yourself. It just kind of feels like someone here is decided the ending or the outcome of something without even taking the steps and finding out. What else for Virgo? There's that missed opportunity. It says open your eyes to the possibilities here. Give me three cards for advice. The sign of Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. What is the advice here? Now, the advice is just advice. Take it, leave it. The eight of water. See, someone here has a desire to move on or for a situation to move forward here. Someone here may be finding themselves a little bit bored with life. Needing something more meaningful in it. But Spirit says you have to take the action here. I feel like someone here wants to go towards something that they see as wish fulfillment. Three cards for advice. First card, look at that. The Emperor. And we saw him at the beginning. King of Air. It says organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership, stand up and be counted. Show me more. You have the page of water. It says a new person enters your life. It says a relationship begins a new phase. It says heightened psychic abilities. So a lot of you need to be paying attention to your intuition at this time, especially if you have water somewhere highly aspected in your chart here. Now, the page of water can also be an energy of very lighthearted, flirting energy. You know, don't be afraid to get to meet new people here, Virgos. The page of water also can represent, you know, maybe someone here wants to offer someone an apology.
One more, but there's procrastination. Look at that, the night of earth. Delays. This is the energy of, you know, someone here needs to honor their commitments. It's also your guardian angels are very much around you. It says time to buckle down and get things done. One more for advice. There's a message here for my Virgos from their ancestors and their angels. Thank you, Spirit. What was that? The King of Water. Yeah, someone here needs to come out of their emotions here. You know what? With that King of um, Water, the kind of, I was going to say King of Earth. Okay, so, you know, King of Water is giving me this energy of, you know what? Someone really deep down is really just like a, how would you say it? Like a, big cuddly bear kind of energy and maybe this is someone who puts on some kind of front you know that tough act every day but underneath i don't know who you think you're fooling not your ancestors not your angels for sure thank you is that awakening card so someone here may be going through some kind of transformation some kind of change maybe that scares someone i don't know it says, look at things from a different perspective. It says, a temporary standstill is important to be yourself. So again, the hangman energy. Somebody's definitely seeing the world differently. Look at that justice. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. This is about somebody doing the right thing. But it's also about somebody doing the right thing for them. Oh, this could be about love. The lovers. But this also gives me like the angels. You see this couple here? It's like the angels trying to bring, for some of you, two people together here. The number six talks about victory. It talks about success. It also talks about maybe somebody bringing some kind of relationship to the light, right? Seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. And there's that nine of pentacles energy. Enjoying life's little luxury, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment for some of you. So for some of you, like I said, if it doesn't have anything to do with anybody else here, um, this could be about the love that you have for some kind of project, a business or something like that, right? But if this is about love and somebody's wanting to go towards someone who is in a single energy here, right? Six of air, wanting to move to calmer waters here. Look at that. They have to find the inner strength here. Seven of fire. It says you have to defend what you believe in. Someone manifested something here. Or somebody here is protected from some kind of magic, whatever. All right. <clears throat> so, give me three cards from the Moonology. And then we're going to end out with a love and light card. What do we have for my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Three cards for advice. What do my Virgos need to hear at this time? Show me. Nothing will come of this situation. You have, you are good enough. And then you have hold your vision. I think I said that at the beginning. Hold your vision, Virgos. Surrender to the divine. Now, as a side note, if someone here with this emperor energy and nothing will come of this situation, let me just clarify this real quick. Because I was going to say, if someone here is dealing with maybe an Aries or a Taurus, um... I mean, I don't know, maybe someone's thinking of going into business with someone like that. I don't know. You have nothing will come of this situation. So let's see. What is this? Justice in the reverse. Someone here is receiving bad karma for something from the past here. Why is the emperor with nothing will come of this situation? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why are you mad, son? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if someone here wanted to lay something to rest here, right? But someone here maybe wanted to do something that was unfair. But look at that. We have the judgment and the knight of swords. Someone here may be very angry. The knight of wands. 
or the nine of wands sorry with the eight of wands here and the seven of wands oh somebody tried to do something here and it's being returned asap okay well yeah that's a side note for anyone who may be dealing with an aries or a taurus or someone who may be a, in a boss you could be your boss right but this may be someone who likes some kind of control power here um spirit says don't worry about them we got <laughs> we, we're dealing with this person let's put it like that i did say oh we didn't use mother mary so let's get one from here and one from mother mary to end out thank you spirit what do my virgos need to know thank you and mother mary let's give you a shuffle mother mary action yes action for someone here landed on top of you are good enough here stop worrying stop you know judging yourself here because look at this you know you are good enough it says honor your uniqueness here it says thank you for making me so wonderfully complex your workmanship is marvelous how well i know it but do you know it for someone here you know, I always, when I get that card, it always makes me think of um, this saying, right? Where, um, how does it go? It says, everybody laughs at you because you're different. But then it says, but then you laugh at everybody because they're all the same. One card, Mother Mary. How do you want to end this for my Virgos? integrity mm. one card thank you thank you and look how it's coming out sideways there's a blockage here you know i don't know someone could have tried to block your blessings absolutely um but this is you knowing your worth here it's almost like you, you're your god's baby you know it says, today I count my blessings, small and large, and I notice the new gifts that come to me from God. So again, if someone here is having some kind of awakening, don't be afraid of your gifts. Don't be afraid of who you are. Don't feel like you're crazy. Yes, you may be different, but it's a good different. So Virgos, that is what I have for you today. As a message from your ancestors and your angels, if anything in the reading did resonate with you, or you want to claim it, right? You want to claim that energy, that positiveness. Hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light.